More than 2,400 Iowans have passed away from coronavirus this year. Two of those people, an Iowa couple dying just one day and two rooms apart from one another. Tonight, their community and family honoring their memory. Local 5 Sarah Beckman reports. Joe and Judy Chastain have a simple Iowa love story. Mom was, uh, was, uh, um, was, was born and raised in uh, Afton, then uh, uh, when she graduated high school, moved to Des Moines, uh, where she met my dad. They met, they were in the same apartment building, and uh, um, she locked herself out of the, uh, out of the house, and, and dad, uh, dad uh, came to her rescue. The two got married and soon after had three children, Jeff, Jim, and Jill. After living in Nebraska for a few years, the family settled in Judy's hometown of Afton, seeing their children grow up and bring their own children around. But Joe and Judy's love story took a different turn in August of this year. Mom was the first one to come down with shortness of breath, and she went to the hospital dad was probably i think dad was probably sick first yeah just because you know she had called me and said you know he's just really tired and he's sleeping a lot and i'm like whoa but you dad, know dad didn't complain but he dad didn't wasn't complain. you know he wasn't gonna he's like oh i'm just feeling you know we moved and everybody was tired and you know that's just what he kind of attested it to and then when mom started not feeling good and then they both started running fevers, that's when it was like, okay. The Chastains couldn't be in the same room together as they fought coronavirus, instead separated by just two rooms. Looking back in hindsight, I wish the hospitals could have something like Zoom. Like what we're doing. And I wish they could have had something like that for the COVID where I could have sat and... <laughs> You know, I had a cup of coffee with dad, you know? The couple, who had spent decades of their life together, now had just two more visits. And then the last time was when mom decided that um, she wanted the airflow removed. So um, they've got to spend some time together that morning. Judy lasted another six days before she passed, Joe joining his wife one day later. One of Judy's dying wishes was to have a great big eagle statue made in their honor, right outside the high school ball fields. She would tell me, like, I, we always went to ball games together and I would always take her home and she would be like, you know, if something ever happens to me, you better take that memorial money and make the biggest eagle you can find because this eagle they have, which was like a very small statue, was not what she thought was appropriate. <laughs> so the whole community rallied together, raising money for the statue complete with special plaques bearing Joe and Judy's names. Their children, grateful for the physical space honoring their parents, now also left with memories and old habits. Like Jeff when he got tested for coronavirus. And it came back negative. And I went to pick up my phone. I was going to call my mom and tell her how happy I was that, hey, I don't have COVID. And um, for a few months afterwards, I would catch myself doing that. Or Jill, who still lives in Afton and still feels her parents' presence. I kind of, I miss my co-pilot. Um, basketball season, we haven't started yet. We start next week, but um, she would always ride with us, you know, and I won't forget the first volleyball game I went to and I just looked over and there was just an empty seat, you know, and uh, that's, that's tough. And Jim, who will always miss the phone calls. Your mom was just, she had all the answers. So anything went on in your life, you called mom. Anything big happened in your life, you called mom. You know, dad would, dad wasn't much of a talker. If he ever answered the phone, he had handed off to mom. But you know, I was like, dad, let's talk for a little bit. Jesus, you know. A family missing two pillars, now has to find a way to move on and rise above, much like the stoic eagle in their parents' name. Sarah Beckman, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.